Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel Star Asian Star Cool Gaming here back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, if you want more amazing uh, video about the Marvel Future Fight, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and to follow us on both Twitch and Facebook. If, if you want to play Marvel Future Fight on PC, make sure to go in the description of the video, the video and click on the link up there to install menu app player number one. Andrew the Mirator to play Marvel Future Fight on. Now, with that said, what we're going to talk about today, guys, is pretty simple. We're going to talk about Obelisk and CTP. Uh, I think that after our comic cards guide yesterday that was released, I think this is a proper step to go into to make updated version of our our guys, guys, and Obelisk CTP. I get so many questions about them. Uh, how do you upgrade Obelisk? How do you get good stats on Obelisk? Uh, what Obelisk or CTP do I put on this characters and that characters and that character? So today what I want to talk about, well, obviously we're going to talk about how to upgrade and combine Obelisk so you can actually get Obelisk to six stars or reroll the CTP stats or a six stars Obelisk stats. We're going to talk about that. Then we're going to go in, you know, try to explain people uh, how to actually make a decision about what obelisk they should be using on X characters because no, not everybody uses characters in the same way. So, like, if somebody asks me uh, what obelisk should I, should I put on Thanos, I'm like, there's so many choices because there's not a bad choice. Like, if we go in CTP, CTP of destruction, CTP of rage, CTP of region uh, are all optimal for Thanos. It really depends where you actually play the guy. So in that last section of this video, guys, we're going to go in what to look at when you get a characters and you look at Obelisk for him. So you can actually come up with the perfect Obelisk for your characters in the game mode you actually play him. So first thing, guys, we're going to do is how do we upgrade an Obelisk? That one is actually pretty, sim pretty simple. So we're going to jump in the inventory. I got a few a few a few obelisk gear ready as you can see uh now you to up upgrade obelisk to six stars is a very 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 easy you pick one obelisk now we're gonna pick a five stars because it's already there at 50 percent you pick one obelisk and you're gonna click on either quick upgrade if you have quick upgrade enable or enhance so that's what you gotta do now if you do enhance you're gonna have to select obelisk well, you can still do auto select here, you know, one star obelisk. There you go. You're going to do that or you can select them by ants like that. Or you can do the quick and ants, which is actually what I prefer to do personally. Boom. And there we go. That's going to put this obelisk higher a little bit. Now, one more time, she'll put him to six stars. Here we go. That is how you level up obelisk. You can actually start with a one star obelisk and do the same process. Or two stars, three stars, four stars, or five stars obelisk to actually get it. Uh, two six stars. Now, once an obelisk is up to six stars, how do you reroll the stats? That one's actually pretty simple. Life will protect this. Uh, I don't like critical rate. Let's go with critical damage here. I want to take this critical damage, and I'm interested in making critical damage and damage proc on this one. So what I'll do here, obviously, this is terrible. So we're going to do change option. Uh, I got to pick an obelisk that another six stars obelisk that I do not care about, like this one here. Snare, cold resist and shield. That's total trash. So I don't want that. So I'm going to put it in there and then press the button with 10,000 gold and get another roll on this one. And boom, we're going to get another piece of shit. But <laughs> that's something. So you do that over and over and over until you actually get the roll you actually want on that obelisk and that's pretty much it the optimal is you have two stats at the bottom you want on those obelisk either invincibility for pvp character which is usually suit with max hp uh, or invincibility or you want a damage proc which is usually suit with either uh, elemental damage critical rate critical damage or immunity to guard break and you want to get the damage proc increase and the damage proc increase the only one that actually good is increased damage by x percentage for one attack now if we look at i'm sure i got another one somewhere so let's move here and nope 
No, okay, this one, for example, this one says physical attack, uh, damage increase, that is trash. Energy attack, physical attack, or anything else, it's trash. It's a really, it's really that, guys. Increase damage by a certain amount of percentage that is what you want to go uh obviously if you want something optimal you want to at least 160 percent plus but those are the stats you actually want as bonus stats so you want either damage proc here or invincibility those are the only two stats that are actually good at the third stat on obelisk anything else it's terrible it's not worth it you just need to re-roll and re-roll and re-roll till you get one of those stats on those obelisks it's that very very simple guys and the main stats uh like i said you have elemental damage sometimes you have in your dodge max hp critical damage critical rate uh and you have an immunity to guard break those are pretty much the main stats you're going to see in the first slot that are very, very, very important. Those are the stats you need to be looking for when you look at Obelisk to make it better. Like if you see something like, uh, let's see, I I'm sure I got somewhere, something somewhere here like that. Coal resist. Is it worth rolling? No. You use that Obelisk unless he has two other stats that are good. You use that obelisk to re-roll another obelisk. That's pretty much how you do it. And now CTP, guys. CTP. If you want to make a CTP better, it's the exact same process. It is the exact same process. You take your CTP. We're going to go uh, somewhere here. Uh, we're going to go in the team here. Um, like if we go here and we take his obelisk. Manage custom gear. Now... Imagine I did not have those stats on that CTP and I need to make that CTP better. All I'm going to do here is press change option, pick an obelisk and press the gold button. I'm not going to do that right now because I love this CTP. <laughs> but this is how you make your CTP better, guys. It's that freaking simple. Now, how do you pick a CTP or obelisk for a character? That is actually the trickiest part because you have to pick an obelisk that's going to be fitting your character. Like, we have the perfect example here. We got Thanos. Now, I play Thanos in World Boss Ultimate and Alliance Battle Extreme. So, personally, I don't care about PvP. I want the optimal for PvE on him. So, I put a CTP of Rage. So, this is perfect for him. Now, if you were actually going to play this guy in a more... Um, hybrids hybrid modes like you want him to be good in pvp and you want him to be good in pve at the same time what will i put on him it's pretty simple i'll put the uh, ctp of destruction or immunity to guard break with a proc now if you only want him to be good in pvp now that's even simple i will go with either a ctp of regeneration ctp of futurity or if i don't have a ctp i'll go immunity to guard break with uh, invincibility it's that simple. You have to, to go in consideration what game mode I want to play this guy. Then you go from the top. You know, uh, do I have a CTP that I can that is uh, optimal for him for that game mode? No. Then I go down to the custom gear that will be the best. Like if I did not have a CTP either of rage or energy to actually put on my tennis here, what will be my best option after that? My best option will actually be a critical damage obelisk with with increased damage proc that will be my next be best option as a custom gear so you always take this specific character you say i want to play him in that game mode what is the list the list is usually pretty simple except for summon characters or for characters that do not perform well with the ctp of rage or ctp of regen is going to be regen authority for well for pvp regen authority then and mutate to guard break with invincibility for pvp and for pve is gonna be uh rage energy destruction then uh, you go critical damage plus proc pretty much or critical rate plus proc or in your dodge plus proc depending on the stats do you, you actually need for the characters that main stat and if you want to go hybrid 99 percent of the case guys it's going to be ctp of destruction or immunity guard break with proc and it's that 
simple. There's no uh, 10 million way to go about that. There's a list. Now we have exception. Characters like uh, Cable uh, that most of their damage or Shannon Rogers that most of their damage comes from only one skill. Those characters will perform better uh, in a PvE contest uh, context with a CTP of energy because CTP of energy is going to do much, much more, much more damage. Or a character like Luna Snow or Captain America. Do they really need a CTP of rage to be able to achieve what you want? Or can they achieve it with CTP of energy? I know that personally, both my Captain America and my Luna Snow can do everything I need from them with a CTP of energy. So I do not actually need a CTP of rage on the character unless I get 10 millions of them, you know? So this is all little things you gotta take in consideration. And when you get to summon characters, well, everything is changed for them. What you want for summoned characters is pretty simple, guys. CTP of transcendence? Or CTP of patience and that's what you want on those characters there's still a few exceptions where the summons does not do much damage like Minerva or summons barely do anything so rage is still a top for her for a PV setup uh, or you have uh, other characters like uh, Reflect characters like Destroyer, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones uh, there's are other exceptions they are because you need to put a CTP of refinement on them to actually get more survival ability, more HP, uh, more well, more healing on them, so they can actually survive longer and reflect more damage when you use them in the AC setup instead of doing uh, well. Regen is still better than a refinement for them, but uh, instead of being authority in second position, in second position you have a CTP of refinement on them. So. If you take all that together, guys, I think that this video helped you a lot in making better decisions. And no, I'm not interested to do that. I'm doing a video, bro. <laughs> so uh, the optimal is always, what do I want to use a character for? Then you go, you go down the list. What is the best in that section, in that context for this characters? And you go with what you have and you go down the list. Like you start with, like I said, for him, that will be the, the order for Thanos, for example. PvE wise, which is my interest, will be okay. Do you have a CTP of rage for him? No? Okay. Do you have a CTP of energy for him? No? Okay. Do you have a CTP of destruction for him? No? Okay, now it's custom gear. Do you have a critical damage with proc on him? Mm, yes? Cool. Put it down. No? Okay, let's move to the next one. Do you have immunity to guard break with proc on? Huh? For him, and you know, you go down the list like that. It's that simple. You go down the list and you make a decision. Then you have elemental characters, guys. That usually elemental damage will do better than a CTP of energy. CTP of rage is still going to be better, but CTP of energy and double uh, elemental damage with proc is pretty much the equivalent. So you have different choices in those elemental damage. But I think that. This video will cover about 95% of the case where you have to decide uh, for either a obelisk or a CTP and I really hope that this video was helpful guys and we're going to be continuing this series uh, next guys we're going to be talking uh, in the next few days about Shuru, we're going to be talking about Izoset. I really want to try to cover as many basic as I can uh, in the game to help new players or people who are actually still wondering how to maximize their characters their account as much as possible so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have anything to say about this video make sure to drop comment in the comment section below the video so we can actually talk to each other and if you don't agree with stuff i say always feel free to let me know in a respectful manner so guys Thank you for watching. Uh, don't for, again, don't forget to hit the sub button on YouTube, the follow button on Facebook and Twitch. And I will see you next time.